Hey, it is May 27th. Hallelujah. It's Monday. And I am uh, sitting here writing up some reports and I just wanted to share something with you. So one, I have a little boy who turned 11 yesterday. Hallelujah. Um, and graduated from fifth grade, um, which is mind blowing. And, um, so the last four days have been action packed, um, from different, um, celebrations and activities, um, some goodbyes. Uh, what I also realized too, is that here as over the last, um, few years and even, uh, for me, a personal journey of the last 10 years, I did not realize that here as I'm growing up, so was my son, hallelujah. So was our son. He truly belongs to the Lord. Anyway, um, the Lord has been showing me um, Romans 8.18 and 8.28 today all day long and another verse personally for me regarding um, where he's taking me, you know, his calling through me and, um, but Romans 8.18 and Romans 8.28. And I just want to say, I know that we, as the body of Christ, we have all been yielding and surrendering and submitting to the will of our beautiful King Jesus. We have been so many. We've been crying out, wanting his will to be done in the earth and in his sons and daughters. And, and it's been challenging um, for me and for so many, but it's so worth it. I realize, you know, I will share this. The only thing I've really ever wanted in my life was to have um, a family and a home. I have been traveling around my entire life. And um, I wanted a family and a home. And I have to be honest with you. I just, it doesn't even matter anymore. It really doesn't. I want Jesus. I want his love and his will to be poured out into the earth. His love and his compassion for his sons and daughters. That's all I think about. That's all I see. And I love it. And that's what I want. I pray that everyone know him, know the fullness of who he is. And I know so many of us are crying out for that. Hallelujah. And um, I will say, um, we've all been walking through this f sanctification, really, this further sanctification, this purification, this cleansing, this healing, this deliverance further and further. And, and he's been purifying us as his bride. He has been. He's coming back for a spotless bride. Hallelujah. But in this process, I realized it made me think about um, being married before. I've spoken about this. I, I've stated I wasn't a good wife, and I'm going to tell you why. I wasn't a good wife because um, I wasn't obedient or submissive to my husband in any way. I, um, I was self-sufficient all the time. I, I, I couldn't receive anything from him. Um, I, I was never obedient or submissive. I made all the decisions 
from the paint we put on the walls, everything, everything, except for the finances. I did not do that. Um, and I realize I'm stating this because Jesus, Jesus is coming back for an obedient wife. Our bridegroom has been teaching us how to be obedient. The reason being not because he has to control or manipulate us, not at all. This is for our goodness. It's for our goodness because we need to hear his voice. We need to be doing what the Father is asking us to do. We need to be saying what the Father is asking us to say. Because this is where His grace comes. His grace comes in. This is where um, we are truly able to use our authority in this earth. It's for his purpose and it's for his glory. And honestly, I've really been thinking about this. It's for our safety. It's for our safety. We are meant to stay in his fortress, in his shadow, in his voice, in his word. He loves us so much. He wants to protect us and keep us safe. So this is about obedience of his bride. And that's the true hierarchy of a marriage. Hallelujah. The Lord and then the husband and then the wife. And this is how, how the, the oil of him flows the grace and love and beauty of him flows. The abundance flows. The healing flows. It's from our beautiful husband, King Jesus. He is the head. He is the Christ. We are the body. And I also wanted to share something else uh, with you. I realize in this journey that I've been on. So I realize actually, I have talked about this before. I've never actually shared the details, but I had an encounter with the Lord over 20 years ago in the throne room. I met Jesus face to face, the light and life of the world. And I've always wondered like, was that a near death experience? And I realized that was my call. Hallelujah. So many of you, I want to encourage you. There are so many things along the way that you may not have understood from the Lord. And I just, I, I speak um, clarification over things. I ask for the spirit of, of wisdom, rev revelation, understanding to come to you. There are things that the Lord has shown you over your lifetime because yes, he's been walking with you all your life. You are all sons and daughters of the one true living God, whether you know him or not. He's been speaking to you and showing you things about your calling in him. Hallelujah. Ask him to show you. And I also want to share a couple of years ago, early on, with my walk with the Lord, the Lord showed me where my place was in ministry. He actually took me to a building and a city on a hill and showed me um, a city on a hill and a building. And this truly represented my heart posture, my heart. It's all about your heart. And man, it was not pretty. It was not pretty. The windows were painted black. The city on a hill, there was barely any light. Um, it, it, it was a mess. Um, there were many things he showed me. 
but there was something else that he showed me that um that i've never talked about and i truly um this is what i really want to share with you because we are coming into a time where the lord is he's really he's pouring out his spirit more and more he's been he's been refining us and purifying our hearts the eyes of our hearts because we truly need to see as he sees we truly need to hear as he hears his ways are higher his thoughts are higher and um we truly need to have his wisdom and his revelation and what he showed me when he took me into this building of where he was placing me i was sitting in a room and i could actually hear what was being said behind closed doors and there was a man speaking i don't know who the man was but there was a man speaking, saying, I don't know if she can do this. I don't know if she can do this. And there was also a woman and the woman said, yes, she can. Yes, she can. The reason I'm sharing this with you is because I was hearing it and seeing it through the lens of my heart. And my heart was so wounded and so broken. I felt so much rejection in that moment when I heard these words behind closed doors. And I thought, surely, if they don't think I can do this, whatever this is, I didn't know what it was truly at that time, then I can't do it. The Lord is be going to be sharing as he already has. He's going to be sharing what's in the enemy's camp, what's behind closed doors, hallelujah. But he needed us to be refined and purified so that we could see through his lens and discern and speak through a purified heart, through a purified heart, a healed heart, a sound heart, a lovely heart, a heart full of love and compassion. He needed to purify all of us. And um, that's what I wanted to share. You will speak from the posture of your heart. You will speak through through the lens of what's in your heart. You will, and, and you don't mean to, but you will. So that has also been the importance of this. We need his heart. Even though when we're saved, he puts, he takes out the heart of stone and puts in a fleshly heart. But man, there needs to be cleansing, healing, deliverance, all of those things. All of those things. So, um, somebody is knocking on the door. Hallelujah. Um, I wanted to read Romans, um, 8, 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory, which shall be revealed in us. Hallelujah for the earnest. I'm going to keep going. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. Isn't that so beautiful? So his glory, his glory is, is coming forth through you, through your life. May we be, be glorified. May you, sorry, may you be glorified, Father. Through us, you're yielded purified vessels hallelujah jesus you alone are worthy you alone are worthy and we're gonna read also romans 8 28 and we know that all things work together for good to those who love god to those who are called according to his purpose his purpose for your life 
not your will and purpose, but for his purpose. So continue continue to yield and submit and surrender to his will and his purpose because it is in you it's always been in you but there are other things that have been in you that have not been of him and that's what needed to come out hallelujah so i just pray that the eyes of your heart be enlightened to him, the knowledge of him, the fullness of him and his glory and what Jesus did on the cross. He died for us. He died so that we can be whole and sound. So that we can carry his presence, his holy presence. And... um I know it's been challenging for so many, but I pray that the Lord continue to strengthen you. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I pray that you be filled with his joy. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. You are going to do mighty things for the Lord not for a promotion, not for a title. I, everything is meaningless. The things in this world, even titles, like all of those things don't even matter anymore. They don't matter. What matters is bringing the knowledge and the fullness of him to his sons and daughters. That's all that matters. He longs for all of his sons and daughters, every single person. So share him with everybody today. You know, I normally pray with people, but I was talking to the Lord this morning. I, I, I told him, I'm like, I'm praying over every single patient and I'm not just asking. I was commanding things to come out of people after I got their permission, I was commanding these demonic spirits to leave, these spirits of infirmity, sickness, death. I was commanding healing, hallelujah, because it is everybody's portion, his healing. Be healed. You were healed. You are healed in Jesus' name. Be whole, be sound. I speak shalom. Shalom in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you all. Um, have a blessed day in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.